there's so much suffering. I mean, she has, she's just coming out of the war in Afghanistan. And we had some email contact. And she says, there's hardly any news of it in Holland, but it is really horrendous. So where shall we turn our faces to what countries, where on the planet? You know, there is so much suffering. But in some countries where it is more blatant, I, of course, but here too. Uh, people live with a heavy heart in perfect conditions here. You can peacefully sleep at night and you can speak what you want to say, you can eat what you want to eat. This is uh, very rare, perfect conditions. And still people suffer so much. They suffer from loneliness. They suffer from anger. They suffer from um, helplessness. People here. Actually, suffering truly ceases when you acknowledge your true self. So when people go to battle for peace, that's a peace that they want on a different level. Uh, so here in this country, we have peace, political peace, and people suffer very much. People entertain so much fear. Do you realize that you entertain it? What do you need to be afraid of in this country? Yeah. So when there are feelings of fear, I can understand that psychological trauma, God knows what. But do you really need to entertain it? Do you really need to bring it into this moment? Is it truly necessary? Why do you continue to burden yourself? We live in incredible favorable conditions. Maybe you can bring your habitual attention on fear and turn it to gratitude. How about that? That's great medicine. And even though your circumstances may be very challenging, there's always some gratitude to find. Huh? Great healer, turn yourself away from fear, from anger, and find gratitude. Love yourself just as you are, just as you are, just as you are. Love yourself. It's so easy. You just love yourself. Is there any better moment than this moment? Just love yourself. Ananka, mm, just love yourself.
You remember the story of the Buddha? He was a prince living in all this wealth and beauty at the court of uh, no other than beautiful people. The greatest food, the most beautiful clothes and jewelry and architecture, everything beautiful. Always. But the moment he saw through the gate that was left open, oh, accidentally, when he peered through the gate and he saw beggars in rags and sick people, the suffering was hitting him in his heart like an ax. as an ax of suffering in his heart coming in. And it didn't leave him, no matter the beauty at the court. He had to go. And lay down his possessions, his position. He was meant to be king. His identity, his wife, his newborn son, he went out in the jungle. And he knew he had only one mission. What is it that is free of suffering? What is it? What is it? What is unconditionally free of suffering? He found it. It took a while, but he was persistent. He found it in himself. And everyone that has awakened all over the planet in all times has found this in themselves. So you do no longer need to deny yourself this love, this beauty, this peace. You know better. It may take a while, so what? Never give up. Never ever give up. <laughs>